I'm going to demonstrate the int and the mod functions in Excel by using this number here, 123.456. Now int, first of all, int stands for integer, and integer means whole number. So the way this works is you say equals int, open the brackets, provide the number you want to work with, close the brackets, and it gives you the integer portion of that number, which in this case is 123. Now mod refers to the remainder after you divide it by something. So if you want to get the 0.456, your divisor in this case will just be one, as in a whole number of one, and the way it works is like this. Equals mod, open the brackets, provide the number, and put one as your divisor. And when you press enter, the 0.456 is the remainder. Now if your divisor is two or three or five or anything else, it gives you different results. So let's say we do a mod on the same number, but our divisor this time is two. Now when you press enter, your remainder is 1.456 because the closest number to 123.456 that divides exactly by two is 122. So once that's taken into account, what's left over is 1.456. Let's do the same for a divisor of three. So we say equals mod, open the brackets, provide the number and say three as our divisor. So what's left over there again is 0.456. So 123 divides exactly by three. And for five, we say equals mod, open the brackets, provide the number, and five is our divisor. So the closest one to this is 120. So 3.456 is what's left over as a result. So that is how the int and mod functions work in Excel.